Hey, hello and welcome to today's GFG problem of the day. Hope you are doing well. So let's see today's problem, sorting elements of an array by frequency. So what the problem is saying is, we'll be given an array. Okay, what you want to do is you want to sort the array according to the frequency of elements. That is elements that have higher frequency will come first. If the frequency of two elements are the same, then the smaller number comes first. Okay, so what the problem is trying to say is, we'll be given an array. Okay, and we have to sort the array. We have to sort this given array. Okay, according to the frequencies of the element. So the the, the element of the maximum frequency will come first. So here, if you see in this example, right? So the frequency of five is two. Okay. The frequency of four is also two. So what the problem is saying is when the frequencies also match for some, for some elements, then the, then the number which is smaller will come first. So in this case, what will be the output in this case, what will be the output? So four will come first since four and five frequency is same and four is smaller number followed by five. So we'll have five year and then we'll have six year. Okay, so this is the ask. I hope you have got the ask. Now, how can we solve this problem? Okay, so what we can do is see if you see, first of all, the time complexity is n log n and the space complexity is we, we need to have extra space basically. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll have a map. Okay, we'll have a map. Okay, of element and its frequency. Okay, element and frequency. Also, we will have a resultant list which we are going to return. Okay, which we are going to return. Okay, so, so what we'll do, we'll start iterating through the array. Okay, so we find five here, right? So what we are going to check whether this five is present in the map or not. It is not present. So we are going to insert five and the frequency is one. Okay, then we'll go to the next element here, right? So we will check in this map if five is present. Yes, it is present. So we are going to increment the frequency of five here. Then we go to the next element also along with that. Along with that, we are also, uh, while iterating each, each element, we are also going to insert this uh, uh, into the resultant list, the all the elements basically. So we are going to replicate this array into this resultant list. Okay. Okay. Then what are we going to do? We, we will come to the next element four, right? Four is not present in the map. So we are going to have its frequency as one. Okay. Also we'll insert four in this resultant list. Then we'll go to the next element. We'll check whether six is present in this map or not. No, it is not present. So we'll add six and with the frequency one. Okay. Then we'll come to the next element four. We'll check in the map it is present. Oh yes. Before that we'll also insert six. Sorry. Okay. And then we'll come to the four. We'll check in the map if it is present. Yes, it is present. We're going to increment the frequency of four. Okay. We're going to increment the frequency of four and we'll also add in the resultant list. Okay. So this is the step number one. Okay. I'll, I, I think I'll also uh, code along with this, right? Along with the steps. Okay. So before going to the code, I'll also request you to subscribe to my channel, like the video. It will really be helpful, for, uh, helpful to me. Okay. So let's take a map as I said. So today uh, I'm going to show uh, the Java code only due to time constraint. Okay. So, but I'll, but for C++ guys, I think uh, you'll understand the intuition and you'll be able to code basically. Okay. So what are we going to do? As I said, we are going to iterate through the elements. Along with this, we're also going to have a resultant list. Okay. Which will be of type array list. Okay, so what are we going to do? First of all, we'll add this element as is in the resultant list. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you why we are doing this. Okay, and then what we're going to do, we're going to check if map dot contains key, if the element is already present, if it is already present, increment its frequency simply. Map dot put, okay, air of i, comma map dot get, so what will what this map dot get will bring? It will bring the frequency, okay, and will increment uh, to the frequency basically increment one, okay, increment with one, okay. So here, and if it, the element is not present, simply what are we going to do? Map dot put r of i with the frequency is one, okay. If the if the element is not present, so we are done till here, okay. That's what I have explained, okay. So now the next step, what we are going to do is, what we are going to do is, we will we will basically sort will basically do the sorting in this resultant list okay of the elements in this resultant li list of the elements basically and how we are going to do we are going to consider the frequency okay the frequency basically so what so let's let's code okay so what are we going to do collections dot sort collections dot sort what we are going to sort resultant list basically so this particular list we are going to sort according to the frequency from the map okay so so i'm going to use a lambda expression here okay so what we are going to do? So now this A and B is what? A and B is what? 
it is the elements in from the resultant from the from this resultant list okay so elements basically this five five and the next five basically okay or yeah so this will be this will iterate through the all the elements so now what we are going to do is we are going to have the frequency okay of this particular a so what if we are going to get the frequency from where from the map so a is what a is an element and definitely it is going to be part of map also so it will give us a frequency so when when if for example if a is five so it is going to go get frequency of two okay it is going to get frequency of two okay and similarly what we are going to do for the next element b b again if it is five right if it is five then we are going to get the frequency of b here okay so b here so we got the frequency of both a and b from the map now what we are going to do if what we are going to check if frequency a and b they are not equal right they are not equal then what we want to do is we want to we want to sort we want to sort the elements right sort the elements according in descending order basically in descending order of what of frequency of frequency so we want to have the element with maximum frequency right so that's why we are doing this operation okay so here this will ensure this will frequency b minus frequency a will ensure that the element with the highest with the uh, with the highest frequency will come first basically so in this case for example if 5 had the highest frequency then it would have come first so okay so here what are we going to check else if the frequency of both the if the frequency of both the elements are same okay if the frequency of both the elements are same then we are going to simply we need to bring the smaller element basically we want to sort the uh, array according to the or list according to the smaller element so a minus b will ensure for example here for example here the frequency of both 5 and 4 are 2 so with this step with this step with this else statement so in the resultant will have 4 4 as okay as b, as a first element okay 4 4 as a first element okay so that's what this this is ensuring okay so this is what the sorting is okay and simply what we're going to do return dot result so here if the this this will ensure this will ensure that the element with the maximum frequency will come first okay and if the frequencies are matching then this will ensure a minus b will ensure that the element with the smaller number the the smaller limit will come should come first in the in the resultant list okay so this is a code i hope you have got the solution let's compile it Uh, okay, so here we have some issues. What is the issue here? Variable i. Okay, so we don't have definitely we don't have. So what are we going to do? Oh, we don't want error of something, right? We will have le. Okay, here also we will element, right? We are going. To, we are inserting. We are here. We are incre incrementing the frequency of the element, right? If it is present. And here, if the element is not present, we are inserting the element with frequencies one. Okay, let's compile it. Let's see if we have any other error. Okay, we are good here. Let's submit it. Okay, the test cases seem to pass. Please, please subscribe to my channel. Like the video if you have got the solution. Okay, I think the C++ guys will also relate to this and maybe they can write the code if they have got the intuition. Thanks for watching. Please, please subscribe to my channel. Like the video. Have a happy, healthy and a great day. Thank you so much.